skating and Manchester go hand in hand. Like you can't walk five minutes down the street in Manchester without seeing skateboarders. It's just rad, it's just really friendly and stuff and just a welcoming place. Every some sick kid just like busting tricks on the way down to wherever he's going, you know, it's like it's good to see man. Manchester as well, generally I feel like it's a bit of an underrated city, like I feel like when you're skating around like it's just such beautiful spots. It's fucking hard to skate in Manchester, you know? I'm not going to make things up. There's definitely a negative kind of attitude towards skateboarders. Always gonna try and bust us, but it's never gonna happen. It's just all about having fun and vibing with your mates. Just a bunch of vibe seekers here, that's it. Manchester is like a spider web. That each, if you start at the center, at each web strand that goes off, you'll go down different roads and different streets that have different spots. Thing is, Manchester spots are actually, there is so many. There are so many, but they're kind of scattered around. Nervous. You go skate for a warm up and then just there for hours, man. Urbis was one of like the main like plaza spots that we had in Manchester and so it's probably been there it's probably around the time I started skating here about 20 years ago. But like even there it's kind of like a little bit of a, a training ground really there's like little sections of it like there's little baby curves you can learn on then like long ledge then you got like the big boy section I would call it uh, but like like I said before if I if I learn like a money trick or something if I want to go do it I'll go straight to Urbis to try and get it. Being in the city centre, let's let's say, everything's really close. You can get around most of the spots quite easily skating or cycling or just the tram away, really. And most of the spots that people in UK skate are very often just unskatable. They're basically not spots, the floor's just awful. And it's a shame that on the footage you can't really tell that. Bridgewater is kind of one of those like mainstay spots that kind of like the one of the famous spots of Manchester. They're yeah, like jumping over the rail, it's kind of like a bigger trick kind of thing. So it's one of those places where when like tours or like pros come through that like they'll usually go to. And like since every time I come back here now, there's like there's new buildings popping up, there's like spots, new spots everywhere and like I see like on the phone, I look at the phone and it's like, oh there's this new spot now. Like Lincoln Square, like that's popped up. That place is sick. I feel like we just got Lincoln Square, which is this new square just off the town hall. And I remember it when it's the whole place sort of opened up. I know it's cool, super sick. It's like super small, like little tech ledges. There's also some bigger tech ledges right there. You can bump up a grate, go over a bike rack. They're almost like ledges. They're like square rails almost. They're building so much in Manchester, so the spots are popping up. But with the amount of skaters, it's so tough because the spots get skated before the building's even finished. But yeah, the skate spots are always kind of progressing as, as like, you know, some get shut down or others move, up, like, pop up. Spots do come, but they're capped instantly and it's exciting for us because we're like we can be oh we we're down to go skate this and we know it's kind of like oh we can't really skate this booted but when we do get something the satisfaction is kind of different 
I feel like the fact that it feels a bit more restrictive feels a bit more rewarding. Since the first day I came into the city to ride my skateboard, when I didn't even know like really what skating was or what street skating was about, there was like people telling us not to don't do that. We get a lot of backlash from the council and it's so sick to see people just take their own initiative and build their own their own places to skate. I'm Roger and welcome to B-Side DIY. This is a spot that kind of grew like in 2020 where some, some guys came and cleared the floor and started doing some of the initial builds. Uh, last year we took it on and just started doing what you can see here behind me today. So it's just a, a space in Manchester where when it's dry, <laughs> you can come and skate anytime. So there was a school here and it burnt down many years ago. I think where we are now is like the foundations of the school. The spot started with like the, um, the floor being cleared. Uh, the guys, the original guys built like the safe frame and then there's like, some humps through the trees too. And then they started the bank too. And since then we kind of finished the bank and built like the spine, the little canister thing and the hip and the quarter as you can see behind me. With kind of lockdown, coronavirus, um, people having spare time and also amazing weather, um, there was like a big drive to get outside and skate, but also how else can we kind of improve what we've got and where can we go? And coming to nice secluded places like this was also great to just get away and kind of put all that spare time to something really productive and like improve skateboarding in the city. Yeah, it's so nice. You weren't getting helpful. Look at this uh, ground though. Smooth. This is the new one uh, up where Toys R Us used to be. It's just like big open, flat concrete. I guess they've started building some bits there, like a little low to high thing, uh, a couple of ledges. So it's out of the way. You're not going to get any trouble off people. It's difficult with kind of like maybe a lack of funding here and kind of like lack of interest in skateboarding from other councils and things. So DIY thing becomes almost a necessity. Yeah, there's a need for it really, there's, I mean, if you're not going to give us the spaces then we're going to make our own, do you know what I mean? The more that you keep pushing for DIYs, they've got to get to a point where I think they do just have to listen to what people want. An example like this is like a precedent that can come back to what we're sort of facing in the city, using neglected, derelict space to like something that's basically brighten it up and, you know, give it some life, you know. There's so many of these spaces in the city that if they just gave it to skateboarders, they'd make something beautiful out of it. That is it's a really challenging place to skate because of the surfaces, because of the weather. But I feel like you, you become part of this community looking for these great places, like, like the DIY we're in now and like building them up together. The scene's pretty united, I feel like I know a lot of faces and it just feels welcoming and like a, a great environment to skate at kind of at any level. But I think, I think Manchester has just a great community because until you start skateboarding, you don't actually realise how many skateboarders there are. I think the pressure from the council and from when you are sort of excluded in a way, I feel like that draws people together. Um, and when you're sort of bonding over something like skating, you, it does force people together. You don't really have a choice.
stuff like last night, like it vital to the scene, like you know, to keep and pushing it forward and to keep hyping the kids and you know to just keep the community growing and vibrant. Manchester has loads of spots to offer. It's not just about the city centre itself, but here we are now, Stockport Ledges, amazing spot to skate, has, seen, has been seen in so many videos. Going from just a triangle that was a mud patch to now it's open it's space where you can easily just go and skate, no hassle, people walk through, chill. <laughs> Sure, but it puts a challenge to everything that you see there and once you go you're like whoa it's actually a little bit like near to knee high ledges it's got to be tough you just got a place that you can just skate freely no one's really going to bother you and yeah it's just a, a beautiful nice green space as well so more than that you know great time and enjoying the scene you know having a good time skating some old spots skating some new spots I think the spots come and go quickly with security and skate stoppers it's never fun being kicked out of anywhere, obviously. Every time you go out, it's a social thing to do, and it's positive, but like the council don't see that, and there's just this constant battle between the council and skaters. I, I think there's a long way to go still. I think we've had to create a lot of that space ourselves. Hopefully, over the years, people are going to start to realise the benefits of skating. Now that skateboarding is moving into a more inclusive space and away from the idea of it being a super antisocial sort of hobby that people do where they just go around tag buildings and smash glass and I don't know what, what this idea that, that, that authority figures have of skateboarding. You know people come and go like new kids pop up you know like it's good as well with Manchester being a big student city there's always like fresh faces. It's just constant isn't it? it's just growth man it's never going to stop I don't think like one day it'll be total world domination like so you won't be able to stop us skating man because everyone will be a skateboarder like so. The future is definitely bright. Yeah, people just need to keep going and, you know, not let the council put us down, really. I think it's gonna happen, if we believe anyway. <laughs>